All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Kevin Flerledge, and this is Ken Flerledge. We're lucky enough to be hanging out at Christmas time together in person versus doing this remotely. So recently we did our favorite visualizations, table public visual, visualizations ever and put it up on YouTube. People seem to like it. So we've decided we're going to do this every year. So right now we're going to talk about our favorite visas from 2021. So a few ground rules. Uh, number one, these aren't going to be instructional visits. Visits. They're going to be actual visual you know, to, you know, data visualizations. Whether they're artsy or not, they're going to be data visualizations, not instructional how-to type things. Um, these might not be the best ever, but they are our favorites. So they may have hit us for a reason. Maybe it's the topic or something like that. Uh, we won't pick any of our own who would do that. And the last rule is what we call the Adam McCam rule. We can only pick two visualizations from a single author. So that's the Adam McCam rule. This year, we might be calling it the Brian Moore rule. Mm -hmm. All right. um, when we did our favorite visualizations ever, we decided to pick each of our, we each picked our top 10. This time we combined it. We're just gonna pick an overall top 10 that we agreed on and uh, go from there. Um, <clears throat> Anything else, Ken? No. All right. Got it. Why don't we start showing some? I think we're going to start off with some honorable mentions. We had a lot of different visualizations that we loved. It was hard to take all of them and put them into a top 10. So we're just going to show some of the ones that we loved this year that didn't quite make our top 10. CJ Mays, incredible year. Just a cool viz. Very artsy, very neat. Um, and uh, it felt, felt uh, weird not having a viz from CJ in the list. Uh, Anastasia Kamasarava, sorry, completely botched that. Um, just really beautifully done, Viz. We're not going to talk too much about the honorable mention ones. We're just going to kind of run through them. This one says it's from Danushki De La Vera, but it's actually from Gafar Shaw and Danushki De La Vera, a collaboration on Netflix. Uh, just really well done, fun visualization looking at uh, what people are watching on Netflix. This one from Adam McCann, super cool about Marvel movies. And I think what do we do, click here and uh, it's, of course it's gonna refresh on us. I click here, it changes this little uh, little uh, uh, light almost. Uh, it's just, uh, just so <laughs> incredibly well done. Um, again, Adam's one of the best at this stuff. This one from Ant Pulley, um, <laughs> just a puzzle. Um, but a slide puzzle. We'll see if I can make it work without it refreshing. Of course, refresh. And just really smooth, really well done. Uh, just the movement. Um, I actually saw this and was like, oh gosh, how did he make this move so smoothly? So just awesome work by Ant. He's done lots of cool stuff this year. And then this one from Mark Corbridge is about um, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, crazy, cool, crazy technical work, very artistic, and just uh, Mark had done a ton of cool stuff this year and just thought it was good to uh, show some of his stuff. So amazing stuff. All right, we're going to start and jump into our top 10. Hitting number 10 on our list is one called Incarcerated in America by Chimney Nuoso. Uh, well, Chimney had an incredible year. I think he won four Vizzy yeah. Awards. Yeah. Um, and I, I, the guy just it may be the best, if not one of the best designers out there right now, um, and just does incredible work. This one's kind of an artistic piece. He has some really, you know, very easy to read data visualizations. He has some artistic stuff. This one's just beautifully done. Um, so I'm not much to say about it other than we probably could have picked mm -hmm. a dozen of Chimdi's, uh, visualizations as our, one of our top 10. So Chimney definitely made the list this year. Congratulations, Jimmy, on a great year and awesome visualization. All right, Ken, you want to take the next one? Yeah, sure. So uh, this is uh, Lord of the Rings Viz by George Casaros. Um, George is doing amazing work. And, and anytime I see a Lord of the Rings uh, Viz, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan. So I always jump right on it. Um, I just everything about this, the beautiful design, the colors, uh, you know, I just love this little sort of chronological timeline of events that happen background colors just everything is um it's just really beautifully done and, and george just keeps sort of improving on each viz is better than the last so yeah, i really love work. this one yeah. 
All right, number eight is from T. Ho. This is looking at popula population, housing, and infrastructure in Singapore. And what's really awesome about this is it uses the new map layers and actually does it on a map. And it's just really beautifully done. I mean, simple charts um, and uh, you know, showing the railways here and just different aspects of Singapore. I just thought it was gorgeous um, and really, really well done. And um, yeah, really, really neat. And and T, if you don't know, I mean, she's just doing incredible work um, and just really took to this like, um, you know, like few do. So um, yeah, awesome work. That was number eight. We're going into number seven. All right. So the next one here is by Damolo Lapido. Uh, how mixed martial? How mixed is mixed martial arts? And I, I, I know Kevin and I have always talked about mixed martial arts and how we love to do something and. And, uh, you know, I think this is one of the best mixed martial arts vizs I've seen. Um, just really, uh, really nice color usage, a really great way of comparing, um, you know, all these uh, different fighters uh, in this little scatter plot. Just really beautifully done work by Demola. And he's done a ton of cool stuff. You know, and I love that he has like a style. Um, a lot of people don't have a style. I don't think I have a style, but I can always immediately pick his stuff out yeah. one page, you know, like kind of like a standard dashboard, um, you know, kind of, you know, use of images, but not over the top and usually just one central chart and just, he does a heck of a job at it. So I'd he, love to see the stuff he does for, and from a work perspective, because I imagine it's just, just perfectly done. Right. Uh, right. Easy to understand, easy to read. So that was number seven, right? Number seven, All right. Yeah. So we're going to jump over to number six. All right, number six is from Brian Moore, the Marvel Universe of Characters. And like we said earlier, Adam McCann rule this year's kind of turned into the Brian Moore rule. Um, that's kind of a little um, uh, hint to what we might see here next. Um, but this one is really looking at the different movies and the different characters in these movies. So uh, Brian just recently released this, but really cool if we click on say this here, it connects that movie to, to the, the type of characters that are in that movie. So maybe if you click something a little bit different, it has a little less uh, variety, but um, just so well done. Uh, very technical too. I'm assuming this is using Bezier curves if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, so just really technical, beautiful work. This is maybe <laughs> one of my favorites that Brian's ever done. He does pretty much everything he puts out is, is super cool. So um, yeah, amazing work, Brian. All right, number five, Ken. All right, so speaking of Brian Moore, uh, we actually have one that he worked on with Tina Cavelli, uh, a collaboration. And of course, Squid Game was the big show on Netflix this year that everyone loved. And uh, you know, I, I personally loved it. Um, and we saw a, a, a bunch of Squid Game's visits come out around the time that it, it, it came out. Um, and this was, uh, all of them were really good, but this one was, was we really loved it. Um, kind of went through, the rules and the stakes and, and then went through each game in this really cool way um, of just showing the data about, you know, around each of these games and, and just really love the layout and, and the way the way it goes through each of the games, which is really, just really nice work. Press start and see what happens. All right. Yeah. And then we have these animations like this. Yeah. And those animations are awesome. And if you've seen, if you've seen the show, you know exactly what's going on in each of these as well. Um, you know the different the marble game and the 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 tug of war game and, and all that stuff so i've not seen yeah. the show but i'm still totally impressed by how great this animation is how yeah. easy to understand it is you pass in blue and you you know you're you're toast i guess and so, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly pretty yeah. cool stuff so yeah there's two from brian moore brian you've hit the limit there'll be no more from you <laughs> there's definitely <laughs> one more though it was the the third one that his Iron Viz entry was uh, was initially in our top yeah, ten, yeah. so we you you uh, were thrown out, Brian. You could have three, but your <laughs> Iron Viz entry was amazing as well, um, and uh, I believe that made a top ten this year. So incredible work, incredible year for Brian. All right, I think we're at number four. Number four is from Kasha. Um, this thing is <laughs> crazy awesome. Um, this is supposed to be Dwight Schrute's computer. So I think if I click anywhere here, it'll give me a login screen. Hopefully it doesn't refresh. It's going to refresh. All right, so let's try that again. Click anywhere, it gives me a login screen. It says, type your password. 
did you forget your password? Because of course I don't know Dwight's password. If I click on here, it says, your password is a German word that means perfect storm or perfect pork anus. Very weird. If you look that up, it'll come right up. It's perfectenschlag. <laughs> and if I hit enter here on my keyboard, it'll say correct password and I can move on. And this is, this is uh, Dwight's computer. So I can sort of click on all these different things and we can get all these uh, different silly, silly things. Um, like we can go to you know email and business and productivity, and I'm not going to go in in depth, but this thing goes on and on and on. And you know he had these different little PDFs and Word documents and silly things, but also has some data visualizations uh, about the show and really dig in. Um, I mean insanely cool i can't imagine how long it took to develop it and kosh is maybe one of the most creative people in in doing tableau work um right now so just incredible work great job kasha really fun probably the funnest viz i've ever seen uh in the history let alone just 2021 all right ken i'm gonna pass it on to you for number three all right. So uh, if you watched our last video, you saw that we had a taste of 2020 in uh, by David Borzuk in that list. And uh, not surprisingly, it would make our top list here as well. Uh, we'll spend a lot of time with it, but I just love the layout. Um, it, you know, as I mentioned in the other video, it just has this look as if it could be, um, you know, in a magazine, you know, just sort of unfolding from page to page to get this sort of story about the top restaurants beautiful um, design um, with the integration of these really um, powerful and, and, and informative charts. Just everything about it, absolutely love. All right, All right. you wanna do number two as well? Yeah, so uh, Iron Viz, uh, this, so this is the, uh, the entry from Sam Parsons for Iron Viz, uh, Rivers of Time, all about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If we go to zoom out a little bit, we can see this chart. Um, and you can see we have this really cool curvy timeline um, and, you know, lots of, inf you know, sort of informative text that is just sort of taking you through it. Just so much really cool information packed into this chart. Um, really looks like, you know, it's one of those things that you see it, you're like, kind of like, how, how did someone build this in Tableau? I believe he used map layers. Am I right? Yeah. That? yeah. Um, and but yeah, it's just something that doesn't look like Tableau and uh, and just brilliant, brilliant work by Sam in this one. Yeah, Definitely it's just so clean. That. Like I look at this and I, you know, we do a lot in Tableau, but I just don't think that I could ever do this. No. I don't think I could ever possibly recreate this. Just how clean and neat and perfect it, it really is, and and obviously well deserved um, to to make it to the finals yeah. uh, for Iron Viz. So, all right, number one is. Pradeep Kumar, the show that brings me joy. Uh, this is, I don't know anything about this show, but this thing is absolutely incredible. Um, it did win the Vizzy for Viz of the Year. So, mm -hmm. uh, and is also going to be our number one for the, for the, uh, for the year. This got him into the Iron Viz final, which I think uh, Pradeep was, was um, about time. <laughs> you know, I think he could have made it several other times, but just the color, the, the white space, you know, something so beautiful and what I tend to always talk about with this visualization and so much of Pradeep's work is great use of white space. For the most part, very, very simple charts, lots of bar charts. Um, we have some scatter plots, line charts. We do have this sort of chord diagram here, um, but um, for the most part, really simple charts, just really re well put together. Some people might say, hey, you know, you got this red and green. Does that cause problems for uh, people with visual impairments. Well, he thought of that. So if you click this little button, put, brings this little slider up. Let's see if I can click it. Here we go. And we change from the, the natural uh, airbender avatar colors uh, to the sort of um, um, color palette that's uh, that will be good for people with color blindness. So um, I prefer the other colors. I think they look <laughs> really, really nice. Obviously, um, it's the colors of the show, but Incredible work. This for me, when I saw it, was a no doubter that he was going to land in the Iron Biz final. He did. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. And uh, congratulations on our favorite Biz of the year. Yeah. All right. Well, 2022 is here. Um, well, not when we're recording it, but when we release this, 2022 will be out there. And uh, 
we hope to do this again. Hope people are enjoying this and uh, we'll pick our top 20 visits of 2022. Have a great year. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for the support on our website. Catch you later. Right. Bye everyone. See you, bye.